Jean Morrow, star of Jewel C.T. Jim, dies aged 89. The legendary screen actor became synonymous with the French New Wave, appearing in works directed by Louis Mal and Francois Truffaut. Jean Morrow, the actor best known for her performance in French New Wave classic Jewel C.T. Jim, has died aged 89 at her home in Paris, her agent has said. A director, screenwriter, and singer as well as a stage and screen actor, Moreau came to prominence with a series of roles in films considered part of the French New Wave, including Lift to the Scaffold and Jules E.T. Jim. She also appeared in a number of Hollywood films, such as The Last Tycoon and Orson Welles' adaptation of Franz Kafka's The Trial. In a statement on Twitter, the French president, Emmanuel Macron, paid tribute to Moreau, saying that the actor embodied cinema and was a free spirit who always rebelled against the established order. Jean Moreau, living is risking Red Moore Moreau was born in Paris in 1928. Her father was a French restaurateur, her mother was a cabaret dancer from Oldham who moved to Paris in her 20s and later performed at the Folies Berger. In a 2001 interview with The Guardian, Moreau credited her mother's heritage with influencing her own somewhat detached personality. People in France could see I was different from the usual actresses of that time. Maybe that's why I attracted so many Anglo-Saxon directors like Orson Welles and Tony Richardson. In French, one says ma langue modern l'estle français my mother tongue is French. But I say ma langue modern l'estle anglais. My feminine side is English, she said. Moreau began her acting career on stage and became a leading figure in the comedy Française. In the 1950s she moved to film and achieved national recognition with starring roles in two Louis Mal movies, the film Noir Lift to the Scaffold and the drama Les Amants, The Lovers. The films proved controversial, with Les Amants becoming the subject of an obscenity case in the U.S. Supreme Court, yet both are now considered landmark works. In 1960, Moro Best Actress Prize had gone for seven days. Seven nights. But it was Jules C.T. Jim that made Moreau an international name. Directed by Francois Truffaut, the stylish 1962 film was set during the First World War and depicted a love triangle between Moreau's character, Catherine, and the titular Jules, Oscar Werner, and Jim, Henri Serra. Jules C.T. Jim has proved hugely influential, becoming synonymous with the French New Wave movement and regularly appearing on best of lists. Moro almost appeared in another landmark 1960s role M.R.S. Robinson in The Graduate, but turned down the part. Her career continued into her later years. In 1992, she won the César Award for Best Actress for her performance in The Old Lady Who Walked in the Sea. She also directed two films of her own, Lumiere, 1976, and El Adolescent, 1979. A notoriously difficult interviewee, Moro responded with characteristic sharpness when asked if she ever felt nostalgic for the French New Wave. Nostalgia for her what? Nostalgia is when you want things to stay the same. I know so many people staying in the same place. And I think, my God, look at them. They're dead before they die. That's a terrible risk. Living is risking. Since you're here, we have a small favor to ask. More people are reading The Guardian than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall we want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. The Guardian's independent, investigative journalism takes a lot of time, money, and hard work to produce. But we do it because we believe our perspective matters because it might well be your perspective, too. I appreciate there not being a paywall, it is more democratic for the media to be available for all and not a commodity to be purchased by a few. I'm happy to make a contribution so others with less means still have access to information. Thomasini FR If everyone who reads our reporting, who likes it, helps to support it, our future would be much more secure.